When you hear the word Neanderthal, what image comes to mind? Most people picture a grunting caveman, slow, clumsy, hunched over and doomed to extinction. Popular culture has painted them as the awkward side branch of humanity, barely surviving until real humans came along. But what if that image is completely wrong? The deeper scientists dig, the more astonishing the truth becomes. Neanderthals weren't primitive at all. They were biological marvels, creatures whose physical power, resilience and endurance would put even the strongest humans today to shame. If Homo sapiens are the strategists of evolution, Neanderthals were its warriors, built for survival in some of the harshest conditions Earth has ever known. Their bodies were dense with muscle and bone, their lungs and chests were designed for power and stamina. They could endure pain and injury on a scale modern humans can barely imagine. To call them human is almost misleading. In many ways, they were something more, something superhuman. Think about it. These weren't fragile city dwellers cushioned by technology. They faced Ice Age winters without modern clothing, hunted predators that would terrify us, and endured injuries that would kill most of us outright. Yet they didn't just survive, they thrived for hundreds of thousands of years across continents. And here's the kicker. All of this isn't speculation. It's written into their very bones. Fossil after fossil, sight after sight, keeps telling the same story. Neanderthals weren't weak, they weren't stupid, and they weren't inferior. They were freaks of nature, honed by evolution into something truly extraordinary. So the real question isn't, why did Neanderthals disappear? The real question is, how did a species this powerful ever vanish at all? This is the story of the Neanderthals, not as cavemen, but as nature's forgotten superheroes. Imagine a being twice as strong as the strongest human alive today pectoral muscles that could crush bones, hands that could grip with crushing force, capable of breaking wood or pulverizing objects effortlessly. Their very skeletons were denser than ours, a lattice of bone designed to withstand unimaginable stress. Every movement, every lift, every throw was powered by a body built for extremes. These weren't accidental traits. Neanderthal anatomy was honed over hundreds of thousands of years of brutal natural selection. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments worked in perfect coordination. Short, powerful limbs, thick torsos, and massive joints created a biomechanical marvel, a living engine of explosive strength. Unlike modern humans, whose bones grow fragile with age, Neanderthal's skeletal density remained remarkably high throughout their lives, giving them the durability to survive injuries that would end a contemporary athlete's career. Their grip alone was a weapon. Imagine closing your hand around a spear so tightly that it bends under your force. Imagine wrestling a charging Ice Age predator with nothing but raw muscle and bone as your armor. This was daily life for Neanderthals. Strength wasn't just about fighting. It was survival, gathering food, crafting tools, defending against predators, and enduring the harshest climates required power that would seem superhuman to us today. Yet, it wasn't a mindless muscle. Every ounce of strength was coupled with precision and control. They could manipulate objects delicately when needed while unleashing bursts of power that would astonish modern humans. Their bodies were not just strong, they were finely tuned machines, combining brute force with flexibility, stability, and resilience. In a world ruled by cold, hunger, and deadly megafauna, this raw power wasn't a luxury, it was essential. Neanderthals weren't just surviving, they were dominating their environment in ways modern humans can barely imagine. And this is only the beginning. Their strength was just one part of a suite of adaptations that made them evolutionary marvels. Next, we'll see how their very anatomy acted as biological armor, turning muscle and bone into tools for endurance, resilience, and survival against the deadliest challenges of the Ice Age. Strength alone could not have guaranteed survival in the brutal Ice Age. To endure freezing winds, relentless predators, and exhausting hunts, Neanderthals needed more than muscle. They needed a body designed to resist the world itself. And that's exactly what evolution gave them. Imagine a torso as wide as a modern human's shoulders, a chest carved to house lungs capable of inhaling massive volumes of air in a single breath. This barrel-shaped chest was no accident. It fueled a metabolism that burned enormous amounts of calories just to maintain body heat and muscle power. Every movement, from wielding a spear to dragging a fallen prey, was supported by this anatomical powerhouse. 
Their limbs were short and compact, a design that minimized heat loss while maximizing leverage and stability. Legs built like thick pillars and arms like cables of steel allowed Neanderthals to exert explosive force without sacrificing balance. Even their hands, designed for crushing grips, were dexterous enough to craft intricate tools and manipulate objects with remarkable precision. Think of it as biological armor. Their bones were up to 50% denser than ours, absorbing shocks that would fracture modern skeletons. Their joints were wide, reinforced and resilient, ready to withstand falls, impacts, and the constant strain of a life lived at the edge of survival. Every inch of their bodies was a fortress, built not for elegance but for raw efficiency, power and endurance. Neanderthals were built to dominate the physical challenges of their environment. They could generate explosive power during a hunt, endure relentless cold and survive trauma that would cripple a modern human. Their bodies weren't just strong, they were optimized for survival on every level, a perfect synergy of durability, strength and functional design. But even this biological perfection was only part of the story. Strength and armor alone couldn't make them the apex predators of the Ice Age. They needed brains tuned to match their bodies, minds capable of strategy, coordination and problem solving under pressure. Next, we'll explore how Neanderthals' cognition turned their brute strength into precision power, making them not just strong, but terrifyingly effective in every challenge they faced. Muscle, bone and endurance were only part of the Neanderthal equation. To survive and thrive in the unforgiving Ice Age, raw power had to be paired with a mind capable of mastering the world around them. And Neanderthal brains were nothing short of extraordinary. Picture a head slightly larger than ours, housing a brain averaging 1,640 cubic centimeters in males, bigger than modern humans today. But size alone doesn't tell the full story. Their neural architecture was wired differently, optimized for the challenges of hunting, crafting, and surviving in extreme conditions. Large portions of their brains were dedicated to visual processing and motor control, giving them extraordinary hand-eye coordination and reflexes. In the dim light of Ice Age caves or during a high-stakes hunt against a charging mammoth, this neurological advantage was literally life-saving. Neanderthal children, too, benefited from extended developmental periods. Their brains matured more slowly, allowing critical learning and motor skill development during formative years. Every child born into a Neanderthal community was trained not just to survive, but to master the physical world with precision and speed. Their learning curve wasn't rushed. It was engineered by evolution for excellence. Their intelligence was practical, honed for environmental mastery rather than abstract social complexity. They understood the behavior of dangerous animals, the dynamics of seasonal survival, and the properties of the materials around them. Tools, weapons, and shelters weren't the result of random tinkering. They were the products of minds that could visualize outcomes, anticipate risks, and solve complex problems under extreme pressure. Even today, traces of Neanderthal DNA in modern humans suggest subtle influences on our visual perception and sensory processing, a lingering hint of cognitive traits shaped by Ice Age necessity. Their brains were not just bigger, but smarter in ways that mattered most for survival. Precise, adaptive, and deadly effective. Strength without strategy can fail, but Neanderthals combined explosive power with brains capable of calculated action, turning their raw might into something far more lethal. With bodies engineered for durability and intelligence tuned for precision, they became apex predators of their time. Next, we'll see how these brains and bodies came together in practice, as hunters who could take down megafauna, wielding spears and coordinating in ways that still astonish scientists today. The Neanderthal body and brain were a combination built for dominance, but dominance is meaningless without action. And in the Ice Age, action meant one thing. Imagine standing on a frozen plain surrounded by creatures that would terrify the modern mind. Woolly mammoths, cave bears, giant elk, and rhinoceroses, all massive, all deadly. To survive, Neanderthals didn't throw rocks from a distance, or wait for prey to stumble. They engaged in close quarters combat, charging forward with spears, timing their movements with perfect precision and striking with strength and accuracy that would leave even the most seasoned athletes of today in awe. These weren't reckless attacks. Each movement was calculated, each strike amplified by raw power and intelligence. Their hands could grip with crushing force, their muscles delivered explosive bursts and their eyes tracked movement with uncanny precision. 
They understood animal behavior, predicting reactions and exploiting weaknesses in ways that turned a dangerous hunt into a controlled, coordinated assault. Hunting wasn't solo work. Neanderthals operated in teams, driving prey, flanking and attacking together. Coordination was as crucial as strength. A misstep could mean death, but when executed correctly, a group of Neanderthals could take down animals many times their size. Every hunt demanded courage, skill and the flawless integration of body and mind. Food, warmth and survival depended on these hunts. And the stakes were higher than most of us could imagine. A failed hunt didn't just mean hunger, it could mean the difference between life and death for the entire group in a harsh, frozen landscape. Through sheer force, intelligence and teamwork, Neanderthals weren't merely surviving, they were dominating the Ice Age ecosystem. They were apex predators in a world of giants, their prowess unmatched by any other contemporary species, including early modern humans. Next, we'll uncover how their mastery extended beyond muscle and hunting skill into technology, culture and innovation, proving that these superhuman hunters were also ingenious creators, thinkers and problem solvers. Strength and hunting prowess were only part of the Neanderthal story. To survive the Ice Age, raw power had to meet ingenuity. And here, Neanderthals were nothing short of brilliant. Picture a world without machines, without factories, without easy access to tools. Now imagine crafting weapons, shelters and daily necessities with only your hands, stone, wood and bone. Neanderthals didn't just make tools, they engineered them. Every spear, every cutting implement, every wooden or bone creation was carefully designed for a specific purpose. Nothing was wasted, nothing was random. Their ability to manipulate materials with precision complemented their raw strength, making them lethally effective in the wild. Yet their minds went beyond the practical. Evidence shows that they engaged in symbolic thinking and artistic expression. Shell jewelry, pigments and decorative items hinted aesthetic sensibilities and cultural sophistication that rivaled early modern humans. These objects weren't merely ornaments, they were statements of identity, skill and social connection. They mastered fire with an expertise that astounds modern researchers. Fire wasn't just warmth, it was a tool. It shaped wood, cured hides, preserved food and lit the dark world of caves. Around these flames, communities gathered, shared knowledge and honed their skills. Fire became both a weapon against the cold and a crucible for culture. And yet, all of this sophistication was inseparable from their physical prowess. A Neanderthal's grip strength allowed them to manipulate delicate tools while maintaining explosive power for hunting and survival. Their brains were tuned to integrate sensory information, fine motor control and strategic thinking simultaneously a combination that turned them into the ultimate problem solvers of their environment. Neanderthals were not the brutish cave dwellers of myth. They were engineers, artists and innovators, blending intellect and strength into a seamless survival strategy. Their culture, technology and creativity amplified their natural abilities, making them far more formidable than we've been led to believe. Next, we'll see how all of these elements, anatomy, strength, cognition, hunting skill and ingenuity, came together to make Neanderthals the ultimate survivors of one of the harshest periods in Earth's history. When strength, intelligence, precision and ingenuity converge, a species transcends survival. It dominates. This was the Neanderthal reality. Every aspect of their biology and culture was a response to a world designed to crush the unprepared. Their bodies were engines of raw power, built to endure and excel in extreme cold. Dense bones, massive muscles and compact limbs allowed them to strike, lift and manipulate with force unimaginable to modern humans. Yet this strength was only useful when paired with brains capable of calculation, anticipation and strategy. They could coordinate hunts, craft tools with astonishing sophistication and adapt to unpredictable environments faster than any contemporary species. Hunting megafauna was not luck or brute force alone. It was a combination of planning, timing and teamwork. Neanderthals assessed their prey, predicted behaviour and struck with calculated precision, often at terrifyingly close range. Every kill was a testament to their integration of brawn and brains. 
Beyond the hunt, their cultural and technological mastery amplified their natural advantages. Fire, crafted tools, symbolic expression and strategic use of the landscape were extensions of their superhuman abilities. These were not random acts, they were deliberate, intelligent responses to survival pressures. Their ingenuity transformed the harshest environments into manageable, even conquerable worlds. Neanderthals weren't just surviving in the Ice Age. They were thriving. They lived for hundreds of thousands of years in some of the most extreme conditions on Earth. Their anatomy, metabolism, cognition and culture created a synergistic survival system that allowed them to endure what would have obliterated most other species. They were the ultimate evolutionary experiment, superhuman in strength, cunning in thought, precise in action and resilient in the face of adversity. In every way, they were nature's answer to the question, what does it take to conquer a frozen, unforgiving world? Neanderthals were more than our distant cousins. They were evolutionary marvels, a species engineered for extremes, blending superhuman strength, endurance, precision, intelligence, and creativity into a single unstoppable package. In a world of Ice Age predators, frozen landscapes, and constant survival challenges, they didn't just endure, they dominated. Their bodies were living fortresses, their brains finely tuned for strategy and adaptation, and their hands capable of shaping tools, weapons, and culture with astonishing skill. Hunting, crafting, building and creating, Neanderthals transformed the harshest environments into stages on which they perform feats that modern humans can barely imagine. And yet, their story isn't just frozen in the past. Traces of Neanderthal DNA in modern humans hint at their lasting influence. Some of their traits, from immunity and metabolism to subtle cognitive abilities, live on in us. Their legacy is a reminder of the heights human potential can reach when biology, environment, and ingenuity converge. In every sense, they were nature's ultimate freaks of evolution, a testament to what life can accomplish when survival demands nothing less than extraordinary.